Now, in response to that Israeli retaliation, we're hearing from a lot of people affected by this war here in Wisconsin. CBS 58's A.J. Byatt Poor is live in our newsroom tonight after hearing from several local groups, and he also has the latest from our members of Congress who will have a say in how the U.S. responds. A.J. Jessup, Natalie, good evening. The Islamic Society tonight is accusing the U.S. government of selective sympathy. They believe the outrage on display after Hamas massacred 1,000 Israeli civilians should also exist for Palestinians living in substandard conditions in Gaza. The Wisconsin federal lawmakers we are hearing from tonight say they will continue to support Israel. Why the hypocrisy? Outside the Islamic Society of Milwaukee Tuesday night, about 200 demonstrators rally for people in Gaza. They maintain Palestinian suffering has been ignored. Where were you when those videos and images were coming out and you stayed silent? You didn't think to yourself, oh, let me just say one thing. Let me just say free Palestine. The White House says the terrorist group Hamas killed more than 1,000 Israeli civilians over the weekend, including women, children, and festival goers. Are you concerned that this specific tactic taken by Hamas endangers Palestinian civilians? Look, uh, you know, the whatever tactics uh, of people who are subjugated, I will completely disagree with um, their, their tactics, but these are subjugated people. In Washington, both Democrats and Republicans representing Wisconsin condemn the Hamas attack and pledge support for Israel. We are a staunch ally of uh, Israel, and um, I think it is being determined right now um, what more is needed. In a statement, Republican Congressman Brian Stiles says Tuesday, quote, my commitment to Israel is firm and stronger than ever. That's why I join my colleagues in condemning Hamas's horrific attacks and reaffirming Israel has every right to defend itself from radical terrorists. Monday, Congregation Shalom in Milwaukee held a gathering for mourners to grieve after the Hamas attack. I would be condemning anyone in the Jewish community if they celebrated the loss of life of civilian life in Gaza. I would condemn that absolutely. Those at the Islamic Society rally say they are not celebrating civilian death either, but they feel the 900 dead in Gaza, according to the Palestinian Ministry of Health, are being ignored. Is the loss of one human life um, different or less than the loss of another? That has been the problem so far. The demonstrators tonight say Israeli air raids should not target buildings like mosques and apartment complexes. The Israeli military says Hamas often conducts operations out of those places. Senator Baldwin says members of the Senate are going to be briefed tonight to discuss their next steps for the U.S. Live in the newsroom, A.J. Bayatpour, CBS 58 News.